The next thing we're going to do is probably the trickiest, and that's going to be adding some eyeliner. So we're going to go to the background copy. You're going to zoom in to one of her eyes. This is tricky because we're going to use the pen tool, and the pen tool is pretty interesting the way it works. Pen tool is right underneath your burn tool. Make sure that you're on path. And so the way it works is you're going to, I'm going to start out here. Okay, I'm going to click and it makes a dot, right? So if I go down here, you're going to click and hold. Don't let go. When you click and hold, you can drag your mouse out. And as you rotate this, it's going to make different um, curves kind of in the line. So we're going to try to make these little cat eye things. I'm not super good at this, so some of you girls will be great. Once you like the curve of the line, then you let go. And then you're going to find another place on the eye before it bends. So I'm going to kind of move up to maybe right here. I'm going to click and hold again. And as I drag, see what can happen? So you want it to basically follow the line of her eye. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of drag uh, straight out. All right, then I'm going to go to the top of her eye. Now, you, you probably wouldn't want to come over here because it would be hard to make that line. Although, we can try. Why don't I do that? I'll come here. It's not super bad. Okay, and then don't worry if you don't get it exact because we're going to, oh, this one's tough. All right, I'll have to fix that later. And then you're going to go back around. And then you're finally on this last one. going to finish it out. Okay, mine looks pretty terrible, but at the top, so you've made a path. At the top, you're going to click on selection, and let's feather it one pixel and hit OK. Now we have a selection. We're not going to fill the selection in. What we're going to actually do is make a copy on um, background copy of her skin in this selection. So you're going to do Control J, and if I take the eyeball off of everything else, you'll see that all I have is this skin. Okay, um, let me just put this back on. So on layer seven, let's go to image adjustments and we'll start with levels. Okay, we want to make it darker, right? So you don't want to make it black because that doesn't look natural. You're just going to make it a little darker. And hit OK. And then I'm going to do image adjustments, hue saturation, and we will decrease the lightness. I'll decrease the saturation a little bit, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now what I'm going to do, it's on layer 7. All it is is just a piece of skin on layer 7. Um, I'm going to get an eraser. Probably not the best idea, but you could also, the problem with using an eraser is if you mess up, you mess up, and it's hard to, to fix, but I'm just going to kind of try to fix it a little bit so that the lines are even more or less. And then, okay, now you go to Edit, Transform, Warp. Now you can fix some things, okay? So, um, you know, if I don't like the way that my cat eye looked, which I don't know if I can salvage mine, it's pretty bad. But you can kind of move it around, right, and get it just like you like it. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to, instead of doing this whole process over, I'm going to copy layer 7. Let me just name it real quick. This is called Left Eyeliner. 
I'm going to copy layer 7, or the left eyeliner layer, by Control J, and I'll just name this one right eyeliner. Oops. Spelled it wrong. That's okay. And on that layer, I'm going to flip it. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Okay, I'm going to get my Move tool. I'm going to scoot it over here to this eye. Kind of rotate it, make it fit as good as you can. And then you'll go to Edit, Transform, Warp. And if you need to warp it to her eye a little better, then you can. My little wing here is struggling, but you'll be able to get the point. Okay, let's zoom out. Oh, yikes, those look pretty bad. So I'm going to decrease the opacity just a little bit. I'm probably going to have to take an eraser to these a little bit, too, because this just doesn't look good. Okay, that's how you do eyeliner.